Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Janina and I'm glad you're here. Today we're making pork wraps in the Instant Pot. To start, I will say that I am using my eight quart Instant Pot. I have a seven pound Boston butt roast and I'm gonna be using cilantro, tomatoes, onions, bell pepper, and garlic. I'll also be uh, using a few spices that I will uh, make sure to list for you guys. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of oil to the pot and turn on the saute and let it get hot. While that's getting hot, I'm gonna go ahead and season up my meat here. Um, in case you can't see, I do have mine cut into chunks. I just think it cooks through uh, cooks the seasonings through it um, more effectively and um, I guess I think it probably shortens the cooking time. That's just me. It's not something you have to do. Um, just keep in mind uh, you want to cook it about 15 minutes per pound is the recommendation. Okay, so I've started out with about a couple teaspoons of salt and pepper. You can season according to your own uh, taste more or less. I did leave the piece that had the bone in it. I left that um, together, and I, but I'm going to stick it in there because I think that I think that the pot will cook it off, cook what meat is left on there off the bone more effectively than I could cut it off. So. Okay, just so you know too, I have about five tomatoes cut up in this. It's making about four cups of chopped tomatoes. You could use canned tomatoes if you don't have fresh tomatoes, but the fresh is what I had. Uh, this is a couple of small jalapenos. This is a one large onion that made about two cups, maybe just a little bit over two cups of onions chopped up. Um, I'm also going to be using, I'm starting off with a tablespoon of cumin and a teaspoon dried garlic. I'm going to put that over as well. I think I'm going to reserve some of the um, cumin to, uh, for after I get this browned up. been used to cooking this on the stove top and so I'm uh, adjusting this for the uh, instant pot and so um, I'm, I'm kind of been trying it out and, and adding a little bit later seems to give it a really good flavor. So. Anyway this sounds like it's getting hot so I'm going to start adding this to brown it a little bit. I'm going to add this in batches so that I can brown all of it just a little bit at least. I'll big on that. Anyway, just to let you guys know what I'm doing here. Also, this is one bunch of cilantro that I've chopped up about this size. Basically, it's pretty much like pico de gallo that I'm adding to this. So, I mean, if that's something that you have your own recipe for all the ingredients to that, um, you know, you can definitely use that as well, or instead. Um, but it needs to be a pretty good size batch. I'm going to take that out. I'm going to take that. Take that. I'm gonna have to add a little, a little more oil to this, so you guys may keep that in mind. You might want to add a little more oil as you go if you need it. Now I've got this um, last batch browned up. Put my onions in there and let them fill up just a little bit. It just seems to caramelize them a little bit and give it an extra bit of flavor. Remember this is a couple of uh, a couple cups of diced onion 
It's one large onion. I just ran out of measuring cups. You don't have to leave this in there very long. Okay, so those have become caramelized. And I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons. <laughs> I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of this minced garlic now. After I give that a few minutes, I'm going to deglaze this with uh, two cups of chicken broth. I just need to be a little bit taller. Oh, looks like I'm missing a piece of meat. That's what happens when you're short. <laughs> Pour in this chicken broth, two cups. And I'm going to scrape the bottom here. Let me let you guys see. So basically I'm just scraping the burnt bits on the bottom so that to avoid that burn notice, the dreaded burn notice. We all hate that. This just seems like it gives it a lot of flavor. I'm going to add my meat back in there. Miss. Line. I'm going to finish using my uh, cumin and garlic. Just make sure you guys don't go over that fill line. That's a really good guideline for not overdoing it. I just keep in mind 15 minutes per pound. Um, mine is Mine is seven pounds, so it's calling for about 105 minutes. Make sure you put this in the sealed position as well. So the timer's gone off, and I've actually allowed this to natural release for 17 minutes. because I don't really want the broth in my wraps. So I usually thought, like to take some out and shred it up a bit. That'll be enough to get started. Works here. I heated up a couple of uh, wraps here just to kind of show you guys too. And this just shreds real easy, see? So you can use whatever kind of uh, wraps you like. I like these garden spinach or also like to put some fresh Pico de Gallo on mine, as well as some sour cream. You can put like lettuce or some spinach in there, just kind of whatever veggies you like. Come to one another. Thanks for watching.